Good morning, friends in Blackwood and beyond. I'm Mark Thomas, minister of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Blackwood. Thanks very much for joining me again as we pause to pray on this Sunday morning, Sunday the 31st of May. Now, I know it's easy to lose track of the days and track of where we are, but Sunday the 31st of May, it's Pentecost Sunday. It's the day in which uh, the church celebrates what God did on that first Pentecost day by sending his Holy Spirit so that those who gathered on that occasion were filled with the Holy Spirit and there were people from different places uh, speaking different languages all who heard and understood the message about the wonders of God. I'll read that in a moment from Acts chapter 2 uh, but first of course as we gather we light a candle and Here's my candle, but I've got a slightly different candle uh, this morning. I'm going to replace my uh, typical and usual candle um, with this uh, little candle here. I uh, hope you can see it. I know it's only a small little thing uh, sitting uh, in this cake. Uh, why would I do that today? Well, because Pentecost Sunday is the day in which we um, celebrate the birth of the church. And we as a local church, Mount Pleasant Baptist Church, have often taken the opportunity uh, to have a birthday cake, a celebration, uh, and acknowledge uh, what God has done for us uh, over many years. Now as a church, we celebrate our birthday today, and we are 144 years old. Uh, so not looking too bad on it. So I'm gonna light my candle now. Maybe you can light whichever candle you've got there with you. And maybe if you find a cake later and you want to enjoy it, uh, enjoy it as a celebratory birthday cake. So here's my candle lit uh, in, in the celebration uh, birthday cake and the candle of course lit reminds us uh, that we're here in the presence of Christ, Christ the light of the world. So let me read about those uh, events from Acts chapter 2, just a few verses. When the day of Pentecost came they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now today, on this day, we're going to stand and... Uh, pray, we, 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 we unite in solidarity uh, with people right across the world, in solidarity with the church, uh, in places far and wide. So today be mindful of the church right across the world and perhaps people you know who are serving in churches uh, in different places. Today we're also standing in solidarity with those who are victims of injustice and those who are seeking justice. Perhaps your mind uh, is pondering the events that are in our news at the moment from the United States. We're also in solidarity today with those who suffer as a result of events beyond their control, uh, such as those who are marking the 50th anniversary of the worst disaster in Peru's history. Uh, if you don't know anything about it, and I don't, wouldn't expect you to, then Google it and read the story of a village called Yungay, high up in the Andes, uh, that my wife and I stayed at uh, a number of years ago and read of their story and that situation. There are many ways in which today is the day when our thoughts and our prayers should go beyond ourselves. Normally we pray for ourselves and our community and our country. Today uh, let's uh, reach beyond ourselves and have a focus on a slightly bigger picture on the global stage. We'll also end our prayers this morning uh, with the Lord's Prayer as usual. So. Let's pause and pray together. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, as we stand in solidarity with fellow believers across the world, the worldwide Church of Jesus Christ celebrates uh, what you did on that first Pentecost. We are today praying as we often do in response to the virus that is affecting people right across the world. We are thankful for our NHS and all those who work in it. And we pray for all those who are providing health care across the world and who are seeking to fight this virus. We pray especially for workers in countries that are particularly vulnerable 
and where resources are not abundant. Places such as Chad and Afghanistan. Lord, for them would you hear our prayer. We pray for people living and working under lockdown around the world. We pray for people across the world who are unable to work, who are struggling to support themselves and their families. And so we pray and give thanks for the BMS supported work offering food relief in places such as Tunisia and Albania. And for those who are working hard to ensure water supplies are retained, such as in Peru. We pray that this work would meet the needs of those who are most vulnerable at this difficult time. We pray especially for our friend Laura in Nauta, continuing, continuing her valuable work. We pray that you would protect her, equip her and her colleagues for the work that they're undertaking and bless them and the communities that they are serving. Lord, may each of them know the love of Jesus and the power of his Holy Spirit at this time. We pray for governments and leaders across the world and we pray that they would make wise decisions, proactive decisions that will benefit their countries and the communities in which they work and serve. And on this day, when your spirit demonstrated an overcoming of division so that all could hear of the wonders of God, we pray that you would overcome the divisions of racism that continue to destroy lives and devastate communities. We are mindful of events taking place uh, across uh, the world, uh, not least in the United States. We pray for justice and peace in unsettled communities. And we also pray that any sense or temptation to racism that would be in our hearts would be removed by the work of your Holy Spirit. On this day when you opened the way of eternal life to every race and nation by the promised gift of your Spirit. On this day when you taught the hearts of your faithful people to remain faithful and dependent upon you. Grant us that same Spirit today that we might have right judgment in all things and evermore rejoice in your comforting holy, holy presence. Good and gracious God, would you hear our prayers today? We pray for those who are alone and un unloved. We pray for those who weep tears of anxiety. We pray for those who are experiencing conflict, violence and strife. We pray for those who face pressure and stress. And for each of those, pour out your spirit and hear our prayer. We pray for those who are experiencing the consequences of actions that should be taken. Experience those who are feeling oppressed, those who are suffering cruelty and neglect, those who are struggling with addiction. Lord, would you pour out your spirit on such folk and hear our prayer. Spirit of truth, guide us in your ways. Spirit of freedom, release our hearts and imaginations. Spirit of wisdom, inhabit our thoughts and conversations. Spirit of healing, restore and anoint us for your service. Spirit of forgiveness, pour out your grace upon us. Spirit of hope, open up to us new possibilities of love. Spirit of power, accomplish your purpose through us. Spirit of unity, bind us in love and common endeavour. Spirit of life, inspire and enable us to fulfil your calling on our lives. Spirit of Christ, mould us into your likeness. And in all these things, hear our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. We say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
thanks so much for joining me in prayers today. It's been good to have you along. As it's Sunday, I really hope that you'll come and listen to an extra little message that I got for you. It's uh, on the link below, so just click that link. And there you can join me and a friend of ours. Um, and uh, I'm sure we'll both be glad to see you there. So grab a Bible and maybe a cup of coffee and click on the link below. And if you fancy trying to work out where I was uh, when I recorded this just yesterday, uh, then please feel free to do so. But come and meet myself and a good friend of ours, and I'll see you there. If also you need something uh, to help you worship God today by singing, uh, then please feel free to click on any of the links below. I've provided you with a whole list of songs that I think are suitable today on this Pentecost anniversary uh, occasion. So uh, join me then, please. And uh, in the meantime, uh, take care, be safe, and God bless.